when I became involved with city life, um, I was trying to be a leader for my family, a spiritual leader, um, but I really wasn't on the right road and on the right track. Um, not really fulfilling that role as a spiritual leader uh, for my wife and for my kids. Um, not loving them fully like God wants me to and, and, and like I, I desire to um, more now than ever. A couple of months ago, um, our daughter Grace, who's 11, um, came to us and said she wanted to be baptized, baptized at City Life. And oh, that, we thought, oh, that's great, and, and we're excited about it. And then a couple of days later, my wife asked me if I would baptize Grace. And it really took me by surprise, kind of shocked me. But it really made me start to wrestle with myself and um, my sins. And, and I, I really... It, it came down to I didn't feel like I was worthy to baptize my own daughter and it was really uh, it was painful to realize that and accept that it was painful for me it was painful for Jennifer um, and it really made me step back and, and start to take a look at, at who I really was spiritually, what my relationship with God was, um, and it, it, it really kind of turned me and led me to uh, a few scriptures that uh, really stood out for me at the time, and uh, uh, through some pain and hurt and Council, I've really, uh, I've, I've been able to recognize what it is to um, be a more biblical, spiritual leader of my house, um, and and it's uh, been really powerful, really wonderful. There's still been some, still still some scars and, and some hurt there, but. Uh, I, I, I see a light now that I've never seen before. So this was, I don't know how long before my wife's birthday, a month or so, and uh, I'm, she's hard to shop for and I'm not a very good shopper anyhow. So through some of the uh, scripture that I'd read and some of the struggles that we were working through, I feel like God said, hey, draw her a picture of what you're thinking. And so I went to the store and bought a sketch pad and some sketching pencils and, and uh, started drawing. So here's the drawing that I drew. The first thing I drew was, was this gate and I immediately wrote the word beautiful on there. Um, I hope I spelled it right. And I had envisioned that, that that I was the guardian of that gate and uh, my wife's heart was on the other side. Through the scripture that I read, um, I, I, I envisioned and realized that, that I need to be the guardian of my wife's heart. I like guns and so I had to put a gun in there and of course you all know that I'm built like that so not really but it'd be fun this is a shield of faith this is a demon or Satan or an evil spirit whatever you want to call it these are flaming darts and arrows and I'm shooting him with my gun but the shield of faith is what's deflecting the the sin and the temptation that, that he throws at us sort of the spirits there if I need it and it's really, it's the, I've got it kind of in the picture as the last line of defense, but really it's the most powerful. The, the big heart represents my wife, Jennifer. Um, it does have a scar on it. I've got a band-aid on it that says heal and protect. 
um, which I'm striving to do. The more I strive to do that, the, the, the more awesome it is to be married. The four little hearts of my kids. I think my biggest desire as a, as a biblical man is to lead my family, uh, be an example for my kids, show my wife the, the love that she deserves. I want my kids to see that. I want them to have that example and eventually live by that example. I'm Clayton Shively and I'm a city life man.